interest in uh, the information that we have available for you. Uh, over the past few weeks, North Dakota law enforcement officers have been working tirelessly, investing extra time and resources and facing challenging conditions as they respond to increased activity resulting from the Dakota Access Pipeline protest south of Mandan. They have done an outstanding job ensuring the safety of workers, protesters, and the general public. Since the very beginning, public safety has been our top priority, and our law enforcement officers have worked hard to ensure everyone's safety while also preserving people's right to protest in a peaceful and lawful manner. I'd like to thank all of the law enforcement officers who have put in very long days and weeks and have put their lives on hold to respond to increased public safety demands. Colonel Mike Gerhardt and the North Dakota Highway Patrol have done a remarkable job ensuring the safety of the protesters and the traveling public. Morton County Sheriff Kyle Kirchmeyer and the Morton County Sheriff's Department have consistently gone above and beyond to address the increased activity and protect those they serve. Al Dorman and the North Dakota Department of Emergency Services staff have been instrumental in assisting with operations and logistics, and several other state agencies have been assisting in the response effort. I would also like to thank the sheriffs, deputies, police chiefs, and other law enforcement professionals from other communities and counties across the state that have also provided valuable resources for this effort. And thanks especially to all those manning the Emergency Operations Center in Mandan. You have consistently demonstrated your professionalism, ex ex expertise, and dedication to public safety. And for that, I sincerely Thank you. For public safety, the North Dakota Highway Patrol and the Morton County Sheriff's Department are enhancing their law enforcement presence over the coming weekend. Plans are underway for additional officers in the Bismarck Mandan area and enhanced patrols in rural Morton, Morton County. They will also be receiving support from other sheriff's departments across the state. Because of the increased and prolonged need for law enforcement resources, I have asked General Dorman to make available some North Dakota National Guard personnel to support law enforcement and augment their public safety efforts. The Guard members will serve in administrative capacities and assist in providing security at traffic points. Beginning today, the traffic control point on 1806 will be converted to a traffic information point, advising motorists of potential hazards, but not requiring a detour. With the National Guard helping in, their, in these support roles, we can free up more officers for enhanced patrols and calls for assistance. I have also placed additional guardsmen on standby alert in the event they are needed to assist with response efforts. The guard members will provide valuable personnel, resources, and equipment necessary to support local, tribal, and state officials. Public safety has always been and continues to be paramount. We are also committed to protecting constitutional rights of those who want to assemble peacefully and lawfully. At the same time, we must make sure that peace is maintained this weekend. The steps we are outlining for you today are being taken out of an abundance of caution. We simply want to make sure we are prepared. I encourage everyone who demonstrates against the Dakota Access Pipeline project to do so in a respectful and lawful way. Resist any pressure from others to violate the law and tarnish your message. I also encourage all North Dakotans to respect the rights of others. We 
all have a right to have our voices heard. That's what makes this country as great as it is today. But in doing so, we must also ensure the safety of our citizens and uphold the rule of law. I'll now turn it over to Colonel Mike Gerhardt to discuss in more detail the Highway Patrol's plans for enhanced enforcement. Thank you, Governor. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying we are thankful of the actions of the Governor's Office allowing for additional resources for North Dakota expect law enforcement services to be available on a moment's notice. Having additional resources available from the National Guard allows our officers to better serve the citizens and allows them to concentrate, and allows us to concentrate on public safety efforts. These public safety efforts include responding to calls for service, proactive traffic enforcement, and a visible presence on our roadways. These additional resources will provide the assistance needed to have adequate law enforcement presence to address any traffic safety or other security issues that may arise over the coming days. We continue to maintain open lines of communication with tribal leaders. We all have the same goal of coming to a peaceful resolution. Thank you, and I'd like to turn it over now to General L. Borman. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I don't have a lot to add to what the governor uh, already highlighted. Uh, one thing I do want to stress, though, is a couple days ago, uh, we were here and we had a press conference talking about the situation at that time. And I share with everyone that uh, over the last two weeks, uh, we've been in discussions uh, with leaders from the camp down there and leaders from uh, the Standing Rock tribe. Uh, and the one thing that the leadership down there that keeps talking about peaceful, prayerful uh, protest uh, that they share with us is public safety. Uh, public safety for the folks that live in rural Morton County, for the protesters that are at that site that want to protest lawfully and exercise their First Amendment rights, and those on Standing Rock that want to maintain public safety. That is our number one goal. And what we're doing here today uh, by bringing some guardsmen in to help out on the checkpoint so that law enforcement can do what they do best and that's get out there on the roads to promote public safety and be there when needed when citizens whether you live in rural morton county or whether you're passing through because you're at the camp down south public safety is priority number one the guards model is always ready always there and right now if we can come in and help out in a non-law enforcement function to free up officers to promote public safety we see that as a win. And this has been part of the discussions we've been having, as I said, with both uh, the leaders of the camp down there and the leaders from Standing Rock. Uh, the other thing, I've already received a couple of emails this morning um, saying, oh, we've heard the guard is heading south. The guard is not heading south. <laughs> the guard's role here is to promote, like everyone else, public safety and to help out with law enforcement so we can free up officers with patrol cars to go down there and have a visible presence for the citizens of North Dakota and those that are visiting us and down in those camps today. Uh, so with that, I'm going to turn it back over to the sheriff um, and then answer any questions you might have after that. <coughs> sheriff? Thank you. At, at, at this point, uh, I want to uh, assure the people of uh, Morton County that uh, law enforcement is present at all the, the protest sites. Uh, please be aware that I have requested and received law enforcement assistance from agencies from across the state. We are increasing our patrols as we speak. Uh, we will and we'll make sure that we can do everything to make sure the people of uh, this county are protected. Uh, unlawful acts that are taking place during the protests, protests are being dealt with uh, through the court system and we are investigating the illegal acts and formalizing uh, criminal charges. Uh, law enforcement has done everything we can do not to escalate the situation uh, with the protests, but our hands are being forced at this point uh, by unlawful acts and aggression actions taken by uh, protesters uh, within the, the protest groups. Uh, we have respected the rights of the protest uh, to exercise their First Amendment rights. Uh, 
This week, we've had numerous instances in Morton County where residents are being intimidated, harassed, and in some cases outright threatened. <coughs> at this point, at this point, this is unacceptable, and we want, due to this, we are going to increase our patrols, uh, make sure we're visible in the area, and and answer uh, calls, uh, public safety calls as needed. So, thank you. Uh, any questions? We'll take at this point. General, how many uh, guards? Men are going to be there and will they be armed? The, uh, at this point, uh, the guardsmen that are employed will be based on mission requirements. Uh, the only mission we've received at this point is to relieve some law enforcement at the checkpoint. Law enforcement will still be in the lead at the information point. I should use the right terms here. Um, so, whatever that requirement is to help out there. And then uh, there'll be approximately another 100 on standby. Um, and then, as always, if needed, uh, we have guardsmen all around the state that we can call in if there is a requirement for them. But again, uh, about 100 that will be on a, a shorter notice to come in and help support law enforcement if required. And what was the number in addition to that 100? Well, our total strength in North Dakota National Guard is about 4,100. But how many will actually be at these how checkpoints? Many will actually be so, uh, we'll coordinate that with the Highway Patrol. They will remain in the lead on the information point. Um, but if we can free up a couple uh, units, maybe even dozens, dozens or yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think right armed? now it might be six to eight uh, per shift. Will they be armed? Uh, we'll <coughs> do that with the high patrol. But uh, right now they'll be uh, probably display the same uh, level of uh, protection as the high patrolmen they're working with. So that's a yes. Yes, I'm guessing the high. <laughs> Where, where are they coming from? What units? Uh, 191 MPs. They're stationed in Bismarck, Mayville, and Fargo. And this is a highly trained unit uh, that has some law enforcement expertise, but they are not sworn peace officers in the state of North Dakota. And again, our role is to support law enforcement, not be in the lead. Sheriff, can you talk about the enhanced patrols and maybe the current Camp 2? what the complement's going to be, and, and how long all these folks are going to be in place? Well, we just, uh, well, they plan on being in place as long as the protest is, is continuing and uh, the precautions are necessary. Uh, we want to make sure that we have additional officers uh, down on, on the county roads uh, in, in southern Morton County uh, to make sure we've had uh, several reports of individuals down there, like I mentioned before, of, of them uh, being uh, harassed and actually stopped, even trying to get them stopped in their tractors and that type of thing as they're trying to do uh, their daily uh, work. And, and we just cannot have that uh, going on. Um, uh, we've had several reports of residents, you know, uh, driving in and, and to their homes and people having them block the county roads and physically standing on the road and not, let, not letting residents through. So we just got to make sure that we increase our our presence there, uh, so this doesn't uh, occur. Uh, sure. Could you? Uh, uh, there was another, uh, I guess, this morning uh, incident where uh, some individuals locked themselves to equipment down there early this morning. Uh, happened again uh, the other day. The last two times it's happened. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there have been no arrests made. Um, it's just been the law enforcement monitoring the situation. Uh, is that a matter of resources? So in other words, this decision today free you up to be able to go in and, and, and arrest people in those cases, or is that a, a strategy to just not engage the, the protesters when they, when they engage in that activity? Well, correct. We want to make sure that we have more manpower available to uh, to respond to these instances. Uh, we did have a report this morning that there were additional uh, protesters that were uh, uh, went into the private land and were uh, uh, on equipment. At this point, we had officers respond. Uh, to that situation. Everything that we're doing right now is being investigated and arrests will be made uh, when investigations are through or when it, it's feasible to do so. Why at this point do you turn it from a, you know, a stoppage point to an information point? Well, we want to make sure that everybody through uh, uh, that's going down on Highway 1806 can get where they're going with families and you know with uh, the holiday weekend and everything going on. Uh, so we want to open that up and we're had many conversations with tribal leaders 